An ambition, ambitious Kamala Hassan hoped Vishwarupam would easily cross the 150 crore rupee mark within weeks of its release. The controversy surrounding the film has led to huge losses for the actor, director and producer. Will he actually go bankrupt if there is a further delay in the release of the film? May or may not be. Some cuts, some mutes. That is what Vishwarupam will go through before it finally makes it to the screens of Tamil Nadu, Kamal Hassan's biggest market. The mega budget movie costing nearly 100 crore rupees is the costliest movie Kamal has made so far. It was my idea to pledge this house, says co-producer Vishwarupam and Kamal's elder brother Chandra Hassan, a 56-year-old home not house, he says, where his little brother learnt what he knows best, his acting and his Kathak dance. Their company, Raj Kamal Films International, borrowed 62 crore rupees to repay money lenders. The rest of the funds came from Kamal's savings. But now he has pledged the house and two other properties in the heart of Chennai for what the Hassans believe is Kamal's best performance in all his five decades in Indian cinema. I'm guilty because that was the only way out. And the reputation of Mr. Kamal Hassan has to be maintained. The loss due to delay in the release of the movie in Tamil Nadu alone is estimated at about 30 crore rupees. So how can the government be held responsible for that? How can the government be accountable for that? But wasn't Kamal always notorious for the risks he has taken with his films? So much so that the Ulaga Nayagan or the universal hero as he is called in Tamil Nadu has even apparently completed 10% of the shoot for Vishwarupam part 2. As director of the film, Kamal was hoping that he would have the absolute right to say cut. But that was not to be. Sources say 25 Muslim organizations put together in Tamil Nadu want much of the film to go. But Kamal and team hope only two to seven minutes is all they'll have to let go of. The national award-winning actor-director was very proud that this film, despite tough action scenes on dangerous sets, was a zero-injury movie. But the team now says, even before its release in Tamil Nadu, it has hurt them enough. Radhika Ayer in Chennai with Govind Murthy for NDTV. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.